at each station, you're invited to take three actions. First, to look and listen. Listen to the reading and look at the images. And you can ask yourself questions like, what does Jesus look like? What's happening to him? Who are the people around him? What are they doing? And where is this taking place? Second, you can put yourself into the scene of that image. So as you listen to the short reflection, try to imagine what things would look like through the eyes of the people who are there. What would they be able to see? What would Jesus look like through their eyes? What is their reaction to the events going on around them? And then third, we're invited to go into the world. So as the prayer is being read, think about any situations in the world that are similar to what is taking place in that painting or image. And then take a moment to pray for those people and places that come to mind. Let us pray. Once we were far off, but now through Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of his blood, for he is our peace. The first station, Pilate condemns Jesus. Pilate asks Jesus' accusers, why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he, was handed, he handed him over to be crucified. Pilate took some water, washed his hands, and said, I'm innocent of this man's blood. Three sets of hands. The first hands are possessive, holding the scrolls of the law up against priestly robes. The second set of hands are being washed, corrupting with blood, pure water. The third set of hands are bound, an obedient servant, mute, like a lamb. His body bears the marks of torture. His face says, here I am, I come to do your will. Lord Jesus, you were condemned for political expediency. You were the victim of injustice. Be with those who are imprisoned for the convenience of the powerful and change the minds and motivations of those who oppress and exploit your way of peace. Amen. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. The second station, Jesus accepts his cross. Carrying his own cross, Jesus went out to the place of the skull, as it is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. He takes the naked, heavy wood. 
embracing it tenderly in his bleeding hands. The wood is steady and firm. It leans on another piece of wood, the cross. Yet another instrument of death, hanging nooses, guillotines, electric chairs, firing squads, victims yesterday, victims today. Lord Jesus, the mystery of your cross is at the heart of our lives. Help us embrace the world as you did. Give us the perseverance to make your world a better place. Amen. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. station. Jesus falls for the first time. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. On your knees, the cries of the world weigh upon you. On your knees, flesh stained with blood. On your knees, obedient as always. Weak, you are the source of our strength. Fallen, you carry us all. Jesus, you bore our sin so that we might live. You are the rock of our strength. Do not allow us to neglect those who are crushed by the weight of their own mistakes, those who feel rejected, those who feel trapped by sin. Amen. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too and she treasured all these things in her heart. Two figures, a cross between them, tied to the same destiny. A mother, a child. Do they speak or remain silent? Does the mother caress her child's cheek? Does the child comfort the mother? The hands speak, gentle, encouraging, 
reassuring, affirming. Lord Jesus, your mother shared your pain and destiny. So often we hurt those we love and fail those we hold dear. Help us to share in the healing power of your love. Amen. Your kingdom come, your will be done. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Travelers on the same road, carrying the same load, body to body, shoulder to shoulder, cheek to cheek, carrying the same weight, they become one. They move towards the same goal, eternal life. Lord, as we journey, help us to see those who stagger along the path of the cross, the refugees, those who are homeless, the lonely. We ask for strong shoulders on which to ease the load of others and a heart filled with love for all. Amen. Your kingdom come, your will be done. The sixth station, Veronica offers her veil to Jesus. Come, my heart says, seek his face, your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servants away in anger. You who have been my help, do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. A gesture of love, spotless linen soaked with blood, reveals the features of a wounded man, a suffering figure, a face at peace. Lord, help us to recognize you in the hidden corners of this world, in the forgotten ones those who mean so little to the world, whose presence is never greeted with a smile. Help us to reflect your love for all people in everything we do. Amen. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. The 
great is the strain. The crowd presses in on him. An unseen multitude, different races, peoples, languages, carrying their own burdens. They have no escape. Under the weight of it all, he kneels on his knees, drawing them all to him. Lord, to pick up our cross and follow you is often difficult. Our responsibilities seem too much to bear. Whatever the cross we carry, may we understand that only you can make the burden light. Amen. Your kingdom come, your will be done. God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Therefore we pray for Christians throughout the world, for unity in faith, witness, and service, for those who are mocked and persecuted for their faith. Help them to increase in love and preserve in faith. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Almighty God, we pray for the nations of the world and its leaders, for those who administer the law and serve the public, for all who strive for justice and reconciliation, that the world may live in peace and freedom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for a greater understanding between Christians and other faiths, for the removal of mutual blindness and bitterness of heart. Grant us grace to be faithful to your covenant and to grow in the love of your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for those who do not believe the gospel for those who have not yet heard your message of salvation, for those who have lost faith, for the contemptuous and scornful, for those who are enemies of Christ and persecute those who follow him, for all who deny the faith of Christ crucified. Open their hearts and lead them to faith and obedience. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Creator of all, we pray for those who suffer, who are deprived and oppressed, who are sick in darkness, doubt and despair, who live in loneliness and fear, for prisoners, captives and refugees, for victims of violence, for all nearing death and those who watch beside them. In your mercy, sustain them with the knowledge of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all consolation, comfort the sad, strengthen those who suffer, and hear the prayers of your children who cry out to you. We commend ourselves and all your children to your unfailing love, and we pray for the grace of a holy life, that with all who have died in the peace of Christ, we may come to share in the joy of your resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of power and light, let the whole world see that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. A great number of the people followed Jesus, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this, when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Mothers weeping, lamenting. They have seen injustice many times before. They have nurtured their children only to see them taken away by the evils of the world. Mothers of the world, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves. Weep for your children. There is no end to the tears. But who has the strength to carry your sorrow and give your children hope? Help us to recognize you in the hidden corners of this world, in the forgotten ones, those who mean so little to the world, whose presence is never greeted with a smile. We ask that we might reflect your love for all people in everything that we do. Amen. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Jesus falls for a third time. My transgressions were bound into a yoke. By his hand they were fastened together. They weigh on my neck, sapping my strength. The Lord has handed me over to those whom I cannot withstand. The Lord has rejected all my warriors in the midst of me. He proclaimed a time against me to crush my young men. For these things I weep. My eyes flow with tears, for a comforter is far from me, one to revive my courage. My children are desolate, for the enemy has prevailed. He carried the weight of the whole world, rejected, no one passing by, no weeping women, no consoling friends, no mother's touch to comfort and reassure, crushed and alone, 
where is God? Far above the pale blue sky, the sun beams its light. Lord Jesus, when all looks to be too much, when we feel overburdened by life, when nothing makes sense any longer, allow the warmth of your love to touch us. Give us strength to say our Amen to God and to trust in your care. Amen. Your kingdom come, your will be done. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide who each should take. Religious leaders finally attired, pure, without blemish or spot, each one assured of his own righteousness. A seamless white robe pulled at the corners, stained with blood, tearing in the middle, forming a cross, fluttering like a flag in the wind under the shadow of the cross, the garments of God. are not peaceful ways. Fill us with your Spirit, that we may truly become your people, the one body of Christ. Heal our divisions and give us courage to work for unity and peace. Amen. Your kingdom come, your will be done. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, with Jesus between them. Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. The sky darkens. What are people looking at? The man being crucified? Or the men below? The Roman soldier's arm, decked in armor, holding high the hammer that strikes relentlessly upon the nail, pounding through his flesh. With each heavy blow, different faces compassion, mockery, grief, sneering, dismay, horror, scorn. The sky grows ever darker. Lord Jesus, you bled in pain as the nails were driven into your flesh. Through the mystery of your love, transform the pain of those who suffer. To you, Jesus, our crucified Lord, 
be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. The twelfth station, Jesus dies. Jesus cried out with a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. It is accomplished. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Standing at the foot of the cross, let us pray in whatever language we feel most comfortable, as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them who trespass against us. Give us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. 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 Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>